Hey, Asim. Ricardo here with my Amazon guy. Hope you're doing well. I was browsing through some products in your category, and I came across your Ashman online store. And, you know, first and foremost, man, congrats on over 9,000 ratings, you know, 4.7 stars out of 5. You guys are doing an amazing job there. Um, but uh, as I was taking a look at your listing, Asim, I actually identified some opportunities for growth and things that you can change to not only make this lesson perform better, but actually sell better, okay? That's my job here as an account executive. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to take a couple minutes of your time just to show you. I hope you find this very valuable. I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible. I'm just gonna get right to it, okay? So if we go over here, we can take a look at your keyword distribution. Now you have 5,800 sponsored keywords and 6,300 organic keywords, okay? This is a great, uh, a great number for both looks like you're taking advantage of advertising and organic but we normally like to see a ratio of one to two so for every sponsored keyword that you have you want to have two organic keywords this is because seo and ppc they work in tandem so they work together so you want to have you want to make sure that you have an ideal ratio that gives us an idea of the overall seo and ppc health of an account and just to illustrate that point for you uh, i went ahead and sorted by the highest search volume and as you can see there's a lot of gaps within your rankings right now so for, you know, some, some of these people might not be the most relevant, but these are the, the ones with the highest search volume. So for instance, we got uh, Garden Fence, you're ranking 250 organically and you're paying to be at 14. Uh, Garden Stakes, you're ranking really well for it organically. You're number two and sponsored. That's good. Uh, and then look, look, look at this keyword, 10 Stakes. This is one of the keywords that I actually... Uh, I'll, I'm going to show you an example right now. So you're ranking organically for it at 112, right? So you're not really being seen. And you're paying to be ranked at 57 in where you're still not being seen, right? We all know people don't don't scroll through over 50 items just for garden stakes, right? They probably scroll through one or two, and then they make their purchase. Because it's not a really, it's not an item that requires that much searching, right? So... This right here tells me that there's there's some wasted ad spend um, in your account right now, and that's what we would focus on because uh, primarily because w once we once we get once once we start with an account and we start cutting out all the wasted ad spend, you're more profitable instantly. Okay, so that would be one of our main um, our number one uh, focus. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of gaps here. You're ranking 119, 173, 195, 205, 260. And these are all like you know relatively. Um, relevant keywords for you and if we go over here just on the keyword 10 stakes right with a search volume of over 54,000 people i mean the total revenue for this keyword alone within the next 30 days on amazon it's over five hundred thousand dollars right almost 600k so that gives you an idea uh, and this is the one you're ranking 112 for so that gives you an idea of how much a bigger piece of this buy you could be getting right so that, that just kind of gives you an illustration i want to show you something and see i'm going to go and sort by rankings 20 through 50. And if we go over here, you'll see that you have 629 keywords, but you're ranking in spots 20 to 50, okay? And right now, I can tell you, you're not really benefiting from the traffic that's coming to these keywords because you're ranking way too low. So what we, what we would focus on in this stage is we would lift you up in the ranks. So instead of you ranking number 31, 25, 39, you're ranking within the top 10 for all of these keywords. So you can imagine the lift in, in, in sales and in, in, in revenue that that's going to produce uh, for your account. And, and the overall uh, SEO health of your account and the, the overall authority is going to go up as well because you have 629 uh, keywords that you're going to be ranking for. Whoops, excuse me. You're going to be ranking for the top 10. So that's just to give you an idea on, on, you know, on the SEO side of things. Now, uh, also, I want to show you a scene. I want to go to your listing here. I like the pictures that you have, you know, they're, they're very helpful. I would love to see more lifestyle images. Um, you know, people actually using the product. I know you have like, you know, these two right here, but they don't really communicate so much. Um, they don't really make it, um, exciting to, 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 you know, to, to buy a product. Now you have a video, which is a great, great, uh, great, uh, SEO signal for, for Amazon. And also taking a look at your listing uh, listing tabs. Right now you have 122 characters. You can have up to 200 characters on your title. So I definitely recommend taking advantage of all of that additional space because the title is the most important part that Amazon looks at when it's ranking 
uh, your lesson, okay? And also, this about this item section, uh, we all know people don't read these, but this is really, we joke here in my Amazon guide, this is where the robots, right? So you definitely, you can have up to 250 characters. So you definitely want to take advantage of the space that you have here as well, because this is the second most important place that Amazon looks at. So um, I definitely recommend filling this up all the way. And then when, when we go over here, taking a look at your, uh, your A-plus content, Looks like, let me take a look at your alt text, actually. Uh, okay, looks like you're doing a great job with your alt text here. Um, but then here, you're not really taking advantage of the full 100 characters. So that's definitely something that you want to fit. Same over here. So all of these uh, photos right here, you can have it to 100 characters of uh, alt text. So looks like you're not taking advantage of every single space looks like you're only doing it here on the on the logo so i definitely recommend going back and, and fixing that also the i love the fact that you have more cloud crawlable text right here you have some text here normally we recommend about 500 to a thousand uh, words of crawlable text i love the fact that you have a product comparison grid you're you're showcasing some more products uh, but what you're missing is the from the brand module so I'm going to show you something. If we go over here, this is Stephen Pope's listing. He is the founder of our company. And if we scroll down over here, you'll see that he has a from the brand module. This is called a brand story. This is where you can talk about your brand, you know, where you guys started, uh, you know, how long, got, how long you guys been been going on for. And then also it gives you an opportunity to showcase other products, as you can see here. Right. And it allows you to to uh, to increase your average order value. So those are just some some things to keep in mind. But hey, I see you know here on my Amazon guy, we work with over 250 brands, over 300 million dollars of revenue a year. So we know exactly what we're doing. We've been doing it for a while. I definitely see more growth potential in your listing and in your brand. Uh, you definitely fit the bill. You know, over 9,000 ratings. You're already in growth mode. So I definitely see a lot of potential. I don't see why your brand has to stay stagnant. So. If you're interested, I'm, I'm, I would love to have a chat with you, talk about, you know, maybe some different strategies that you can take um, and see if there's a way that we can possibly help you fill those holes and those gaps in your listing. So that not only can you perform better, but actually, you know, sell better and have your brand be at the top of Amazon. So um, if you're interested, feel free to click the book a call uh, button at the bottom of the email or make sure to click the link in the email and you can book a time with me and I'll be more than glad to sit down with you and have that chat, okay? Thank you so much for watching this and take care. Bye-bye.